Think of the universe as like a war between habit and novelty. That's the great dualism, habit. It means repetition of pattern, momentum, entropy. That's habit. And novelty means symmetry breaking, new connections, and advance into the future. And so this ebb and flow of novelty versus habit is the real story of how the universe works, but science has not even talked about it. And what we really need is an entirely new view of what time is. The view of time that we're operating with is the view that time is like a perfectly smooth surface. Every moment is potentially like every other moment. If you're measuring the charge of the electron, it doesn't matter whether you do it on a Tuesday or a Sunday, because time is assumed to be an absolute, perfect, featureless plane. But when you look at nature, nothing has this mathematical perfection. Everything, Everything is, is modified, modified by factors. So why so not, why not think, think of time, time as, as uh, uh, an irregular, irregular surface, the ebb and ebb flow, flow of two, two different, different kind, kind of forces, forces that create, that create them, them, and the kind, the kind of, of experience, experience of the world, of the world that we're, that we're having, having, where there's gain, and loss, novelty, and habit, years of boredom, sudden surprises, everything ruled by the unexpected. Science builds beautiful models, but they don't come anywhere near to the felt experience of our lives. That's the thing. I mean, it's one thing to be able to predict the path of an artillery shell or an electron, but what we want to understand is how do affairs work? How do empires fall? How do people fall in love? These kinds of things, the things that actually make up our own world of experience.